Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gentle Dogs Trainers channel. I'm your host, Olivia De Santos, and today we're going to be talking about how much water your dog should be drinking. When should you worry if your dog is drinking too much water and what are the signs of dehydration? We're gonna go into all of that in detail, but first I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you want to raise happy and healthy and well-behaved dogs, we make videos every single week to help you be the best possible dog owner that you can be. So click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and let's dive into the content. So to very broadly answer the question how much water your dog should drink the answer is going to be really annoying to you but it depends. I know I know I know don't shoot the messenger okay the science says in general, dogs should drink approximately 60 milliliters of water per kilo of body weight each day. That's according to Pet MD. But as with everything, there are various factors that can impact how much your dog drinks on a daily basis, and this kind of fluctuates to a degree. Obviously, that science that scientific version is a broad guideline, but here are the seven factors that could impact your dog's drinking habits. Number one is the heat. If you live in a hot country, I live in a hot country, uh, then your dog might drink more often during the summer months than they do in the winter months. This is a natural part of them staving off dehydration. The next factor that could impact first is a homemade diet or wet dog food. So we've done a video on homemade dog food somewhere above there, and you'll see that it actually has a very high water content because of the fresh veggies that are involved. And if you have raw elements like organs um, added in, then these have a water content too that dry dog food does not. So if your dog is on a wet dog food diet or a homemade dog food diet, they might drink less often because they're getting some water content from their food. The next factor is medication. So there are certain medications that your dog can be taking that increases their thirst. For example, furosemides, I'll put that word on screen um, is used for heart conditions to treat heart conditions and this encourages your dog to pee more often and that encourages them to drink more often. There are some, certain anti-inflammatory drugs as well that can increase the level of thirst that your dog has. So do check the label of the medication that your dogs are taking because that could be impacting how much they drink. The next factor on the opposite end of the spectrum is illness. So for example, diabetes, Cushing's disease, cancer, kidney failure, liver failure, um, excessive thirst can be one of the first signs that your dog is struggling with one of these ailments. If it is paired with some other strange behaviors, then do definitely investigate with your vet. The next factor is age. Now this is more anecdotal than anything, but I did notice that my dogs actually drink far more in their older age now than they did as puppies. I don't know what this is about. Could be, you know, that kind of midlife crisis thing. I'm gonna be healthier and happier and I'm going to treat my body better. I have no idea how dogs operate as they get older, but I have noticed that. Do comment below if you've noticed that your dog's drinking habits change as they get older too. The sixth factor is individual differences. So, you know, there are always breed guidelines and there are always scientific guidelines for everything, but some dogs just drink more often than others. Um, Blue, for example, my the black dog, Blue, uh, she drinks far more often than Pip does and they are of a similar age bracket and Pip is actually the one who gets the most exercise but Blue is just a more heavy drinker. She just likes to drink water more often and that is possibly just part of her personality, just part of her makeup and that is totally, totally fine. And the seventh and final factor that can impact your dog's thirst, which I previously alluded to, is exercise. So if your dog is exercising a little bit more then they could be drinking more often as well so that they don't end up dehydrated. In any case, if your dog is more active, you should be encouraging them to drink more as well. Okay, so let's talk about puppies. How much should your puppy be drinking a day? The science says, 
Generally, young puppies need about one half cup of water every two hours. You'll want to monitor your puppy to make sure he's drinking enough, but not too much. Older puppies that have already weaned generally need 30 to 60 millimeters of water per kilo of body weight per day. That's according to Pet MD. But again, do remember that all of those seven factors that we talked about with adult dogs also applies to puppies. Any of those things could impact why your puppy is drinking more or less than the recommended guidelines. Okay, so what is too much then? What can you classify as excessive thirst and when should you start worrying? Excessive thirst is called polydipsia and it's actually very difficult to spot because generally speaking, because of all of those factors that could be impacting why your dog is drinking more often, it's quite difficult to measure um, if your dog is having excessive thirst or not. But here are a few signs that your dog is drinking excessively. Excessive drooling, fatigue, loss of appetite, withdrawal from exercise or play, diarrhea and vomiting. If you'd notice that your dog is drinking an excessive amount paired with those other symptoms for over a week, then please do involve your vet. If it's just been a day or two, it might go back to normal. It could just be a fluctuation in thirst for that day. Maybe it was a day that they were exercising a little bit more, or maybe it was a day that the temperature rose, for example. So do give it a week to actually properly measure rather than a day or two, because fluctuations do happen. On the opposite end of the spectrum, what about dehydration? Here are the signs that your dog is dehydrated. Excessive panting and drooling, saggy skin, dry nose, tiredness, diarrhea, and vomiting also, and sticky glums and or thick saliva. Lovely. Common ways to stave off dehydration is just to make sure that there are plenty of water stations around your home, both inside and outside. Make sure that you have a reliable dog water bottle. We have uh, reviews of the best dog water bottles on the market in Australia, so do click the description box down below for that. Once you have a really good dog water bottle, you can encourage your dog to drink on the go. So when you're hiking, when you're on long walks, when you are traveling, just make sure that your dog is as hydrated as possible. I've been Olivia DeSantis for the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked this one, you'll really like this one. Please do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this every single week and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.